So originally your band was called Crypt, correct? Wow, man, yeah. You've done some homework, man. That goes way back. Uh, yep, high school. We started out as Crypt. Uh, what it was was our original singer Joe Thychek and myself wanted to jam with two other guys. Our original Broken Hope drummer, Ryan Stanick, and this other guitarist. Ryan and this other guy were called Crypt. And so when we joined forces, they wanted to keep the name Crypt. And then after about four weeks of rehearsing, we couldn't stand this other guitarist. So when we kicked them out, we're like, we're going to rename the band. <laughs> and Broken Hope was on a list of like, you know, 20 some names. And it's the one name that everybody unanimously liked. And it came from, I, I remember it came from a poem I wrote in high school. This one line had Broken Hope. And I always thought that's, you know, heavy. And so here we are with the name to this day. Yeah, but Crypt, you jogged my memory, man. I'm like, holy cow, wait. <laughs> no one's ever brought that up, man. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty funny. So it was uh, a new beginning of sorts, a new beginning in the beginning. Yep, it was a brand new beginning. That's when we were like, uh, we were always writing original music from the get-go, you know. But uh, with the departure of this other guy um, who came up with the name Crypt, getting rid of him enabled us to, one, rename the band, have a new fresh start and uh we just uh concentrated on writing pretty much songs that i i wrote i was writing all the songs back then and um it wasn't too long after that we uh did our first demo uh in an eight track studio oh shit. yep yep shit. That, and that's back in the day when uh the older folks that were into the underground metal scene would know that people recorded uh demo tapes and sent them all over the world to fanzines that reviewed, you know, death metal bands demos and interviewed death metal and thrash bands. And uh, that that's how Broken Oak got to be known worldwide in the beginning as this underground death metal band. The name got out there through tape trading. Now you could do a couple of keystrokes on a keyboard and someone's going to know your band name or whatever. But in this day and age, too, there's goddamn, I don't know. 50,000 bands doing the same thing, you know. But I think there's always been 50,000 bands doing the same thing. It's just not as uh, noticeable, right? True, true. 50,000 bands doing the same thing, but um, I think... Um, well, Not as accessible. Not as, not as accessible, exactly. And uh, there's something to say about perseverance, too. You can have 50,000 bands out there doing the same thing, but... Um, you gotta have, you gotta be really driven to really you know make your mark or you know make people pay attention you know it's uh it's not easy you know it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll as they say and uh, the difference between then and now as far as uh, waiting for the po for the postman to arrive is probably um, tantamount to uh, comparable to um, having dial-up service today right pretty much yeah yep exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now you're on tour with Obituary, Decrepit Birth, and yep. Crust, yep. and um, Jungle Rock. Jungle Rock. Yep. Yep. It's a pretty brutal lineup. It's a great lineup. Uh, I like the name of the tour. I didn't think it up, but Carnival of Death. I think it's pretty awesome. This is like um, the first uh, in uh, you i haven't seen a like a festival type tour in the states like this in ages and i think it's really cool the lineups um you know totally brutal you got fresh band like in crust you got guys like jungle rot they've been around a while decrepit birth are technical and just sick and then you got obituary who are one of my honest to god personal favorite bands highly influential to me when they first came out was slowly we rot and oh, yeah. i just love them i love the guys and then you know you got broken hope so we got like the uh you know people like to use the term old school death metal but that's what i guess we represent and but it's a good mix you know all these bands have their own identity and um every date on the tour man has been exciting i mean the fans that come to the shows are rabid like they're <laughs> they embrace every band and go go nuts um right now as we do this interview we're at the dna lounge in san francisco right 300 pre-sales man for this show tonight that that's 
says a lot in this day and age for death sure metal. Does, sure and does. Um, so that makes me very happy. And I'm looking forward to uh, giving all these fans tonight a great Broken Hope show. You know what I mean? Fucking A. We're looking forward to seeing you and uh, hearing... Uh, Hearing some of the old classics, is there are there any new is there any new uh, broken hope that that's been written that is being performed on this tour? No new broken hope material will be performed at the show, but I can tell you that there's new broken hope songs written, and uh, uh, we will be writing and recording a new album after the Carnival of Death tour. So. Um, after our long metal hibernation, we're back, and I keep stressing, we're back for good. We're not going away. So the new album that comes out in 2013 is uh, the next chapter of Broken Hope. And you'll, we'll see you on, on that album's tour, and we'll see you 10, 20 albums down the line, I hope. So uh, we more Broken Hope coming. But this tour and what you're going to see tonight uh is really just reintroducing the band to old fans and we have a ton of new fans like all these fans from the 90s many of them have had kids that never saw broken hope and i can't believe how many young people are coming to our shows now that love broken hope does my heart good man it just feels great and um it's important for us as we come back um we're very happy, we're very humble, and we want to have one one foot planted in the underground, if you will. So our set, we only get 45 minutes or so a night, and our set is just bam, 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 relentless, and it's like all the material from the first four albums primarily. And um, so we give everyone a dose of what Broken Hope, what we, what we built upon and what we are, and then when that new album comes out, then we'll have the new stuff in the mix. If it were up to me, man, I'd love to play two hours. <laughs> you know? For sure. For yeah. Sure.